Tupac stories. Uh, <laughs> I could never categorize Tupac as any kind of person. Anything that he's ever been portrayed like in a movie. I can say that those are elements of him, but I saw him a lot over the years and he would literally be in a lot of different moods and a lot of different sort of personalities and when they be like Pac jumping around wild and like that, he did, I, I seen that, but not all the time. That was, he had, he, you see Pac one day and he might have some clear lenses on and be like super like introspective on like history and, and you know, black power and all kind of shit. So I think that my most memorable story because it was some, it was some fun shit and some shit. But I, I really think the most memorable story that I have is I saw Tupac the night he got shot in Vegas, and it probably was about a couple hours maybe before it happened. He was at a all this shit went down. I went to the fight. It was one of those classic Mike Tyson fights. I think he was fighting a boy from London, Bruno, I think there was that fight, and he fucking uh, knocked him out in like 90 seconds. You get all your shit together, you pay your whatever you pay to get in the fucking Tyson fight, and the fucking shit is over in 90 seconds. And shit is exciting, but at the same time, you know, you're like, fuck, 90 seconds? So, went over to the Luxor, I was standing at the Luxor, and don't judge me, because back then the Luxor was popping. So I, I get to the hotel, and we were going in the hotel. We just got there, and Tupac and Suge and a little small entourage, whoever they had that night, they was leaving. And we just stopped, talked for like a minute, minute or so, you know, two minutes or something. He was telling me, um, he was like, he didn't say nothing about no fight, nothing. That wasn't even, that wasn't, he didn't even look hyper or nothing. He just was regular Pac, and he was like, he was like, yeah, we about to go switch up the fits, and and go over to Club 662. That was Suge's club at the time. And it was like, cool, cool. He said, it's going to be open mic. Everybody going to get on the mic. He named a few people. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking with it. Let's go. We're going to be there. And never made it. He never made it. But of all the shit that we did, all the times we hung out, and I think back on him, I always think back to just what, that night. He's like, come up to 662. Everybody going to get on the mic. You know, Tyson had just won the fight. If that little scuffle wouldn't happen in that fucking, like we was about to go have a real good fucking time. And then everybody know what happened. The shit was just, there was no party. It was no nothing. It was just kind of, the whole mood just changed after, after what we heard happened. So that's my favorite Tupac story. The last time I saw it. <laughs>